The time for excuses and reasons why we can't must be replaced with how and when. This is a global challenge over the next 30 months to get a number of cities around the world to uh, do what's required to deploy substantial amounts of new capital into energy efficiency retrofits in their, in their buildings, in their homes, in their cities. The Carbon War Room is looking for 10 cities. 10 cities that want to step up to the challenge and be part of a new blueprint for the creation of jobs, thriving economies, and greener cities around the world. Vancouver was an obvious launch partner because of its pioneering sustainability plan and the drive of its mayor, Gregor Robertson. Vancouver is such a stellar example of what can be done. We're doubling our headcount every year or so, doubling our revenues every quarter or so. Uh, it's just a great environment for us. Vancouver is also a shining example of the fact that you can reduce your carbon emissions, increase your GDP and your economic overall. People benefit from uh, reducing their carbon emissions. Uh, it saves them, uh, saves them a lot of money. The cities, though, can't do it on our own. That's why it's critical that we continue to foster partnership and collaboration with the private sector. The problem uh, isn't that the opportunities aren't there, the problem is that the capital isn't flowing. And to make capital flow, it really is a uh, roll up your sleeves, creating mechanisms that will allow cities and banks and the solutions providers to all come to terms that work. Once you create the mechanisms, uh, then those can be much more easily replicated in other cities. The sad thing is that national governments seem to be failing uh, in confronting this issue. Uh, the mayors of cities have enormous influence and they can effectively step in where national governments are letting, are letting people down. That leadership is going to come from cities and it's going to come from the mayors in those cities setting the tone. By mobilizing companies, by mobilizing governments and NGOs to work together, we will address these challenges and we will find lasting global solutions.